Hello. Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it. Yes, the present lesson, a homage to our brave soldiers, is the heartfelt gratitude toward fallen soldiers who sacrificed their lives for our nations. Through the lesson, a homage to our brave soldiers. The present lesson is exchange of letters of two friends, Soumya and Ananda. Here, Soumya shared her experience of visiting the National War Memorial of New Delhi. She was deeply impacted by the visit to the National War Memorial. Let's get started. In the first part, Soumya writes about her experience of visiting National War Memorial. She asked Ananda to guess the name of her school trip, educational trip. She provides some clues about it. Clue number one, it is built in 2018 and completed in 2019. It was envisioned and inaugurated by our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in February 2019. It is a tribute to some of the bravest Indians. Yes, it's the National War Memorial. She tells about what this National War Memorial represents. It represents the sacrifice of the brave soldiers who, on the cost of their life, saved our nation, safeguard our lives. Her teacher explained the importance of the cost of our freedom, that is, the sacrifice done by our brave soldiers. And the National War Memorial symbolizes the respect, reverence for soldiers, for fallen soldiers. Here, Soumya begins her letter with the last conversation, where they discussed about war and peace. India had to struggle a lot for centuries in order to get independence from British. Even after independence, India has to fight for territorial integrity to protect its border. Even after independence, wars like Indo-China conflict of 1962, Indo-Pak wars of 1965 and 1971, the Kargil War of 1999. In these wars, many soldiers sacrificed their life for the safety of our nation, for ourselves. Who were these brave soldiers? Who were, who are these people? Who are these brave soldiers? Soumya got the answer to these questions during her educational trip to National War Memorial. The construction of this monument started in 2018 and completed in 2019. It was envisioned and inaugurated by our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in February 2019. It spread over 40 acres land near iconic India Gate. It is the tribute to some of the bravest Indians. Yes, it is the National War Memorial. This memorial makes us aware about the pain and horrors of the war. Each brick of this memorial is called tablet and it bears the name of soldier who fought for India. There are 29,000 tablets on which more than 26,000 names of fallen soldiers have been itched. Itched means engraved or carved on it. It was heartening to know that our government has recognized the sacrifices of brave soldiers. The teacher told about 21 brave hearts who were awarded Param Veer Chakra. PVC, who were awarded PVC, Paramvir Chakra, India's highest wartime gallantry medal for their service to our nation. There are five types of medal, Paramvir Chakra, PVC, second, MVC, Mahavir Chakra, third, Kirti Chakra, VRC, Veer Chakra, 
and SC, Shorya Chakra. These are the medals awarded to the brave heart soldiers of our India. Major Somnath Sharma awarded first Paramvir Chakra for the Battle of Badgaon in 1947. In 1971 war, Paramvir Chakra was awarded posthumously to Lance Nayak Albert Ekka, Nirmal Jeet Singh Sikon, Second Lieutenant Arun Khetarpal, Major Hoshiar Singh, Navy Personal Colonel Mahendranath Mula. He also got Mahavir Chakra. Soumya was touched by the stories of valor of these soldiers. She also described the cit citation of Lance Nayak Albert Ekka, which touched her heart so much that she decided to join army, to join Indian army. All of the students were awestruck and humbled by his bravery. Then she shared about another important installation that is Amar Jawan Jyoti. It is an immortal flame that is kept ablaze all through day and night to revere the sacrifices of our soldiers. Earlier, Amar Jawan Jyoti also displayed a rifle and a helmet was alighted under the arc of India Gate to commemorate India's victory in India-Pakistan War of 1971. The National War Memorial now includes Amar Jawan Jyoti in the obelisk. Obelisk means tapering stone pillar which is surrounded by four chakras. Amar Chakra, Virata Chakra, Tyaga Chakra and Raksha Chakra around a 15 meter tall central obelisk with eternal flame, the Amar Jawan Jyoti. It also houses bronze and stone murals and graphic panels. The innermost circle represents the Amar Chakra, which is obelisk with eternal flame, which symbolizes the immortality of the spirit of fallen soldiers for their sacrifice. The second Virata Chakra, circle of bravery, covered with gallery of six murals which depicts the valiant battle actions of our armed forces. Third, Tyaga Chakra, circle of sacrifice, where is concentric walls of honor which symbolizes our ancient war formation, Chakra Vyuha. The walls are carved with granite and tablets. Each individual tablet is solely dedicated to each fallen soldier, each fallen hero of post-independent India. Their names are etched in golden letters. The outermost circle, Raksha Chakra, circle of protection, where each tree represents the soldier who ensures the territory of our nation. The surrounding areas marked by majestic lawns and grand buildings of Kartavya Pat. So I assured that it was visually inspiring and she also developed a bond with this place. Various discourses during the day brought tears to her eyes. It was very saddening to know the devastation and the loss of life caused by war. It motivated her to live a life worthy of the sacrifices of our heroes. After the visit, the class divided into five groups and decided to make a presentation on stories of valor of brave hearts and share their experience during school assembly. She is going to give a presentation on Major Padmapani Acharya, who fought for India in 1999 in Kargil War and was awarded as Mahavir Chakra. This way she shared her gratitude toward our brave heart soldiers through her letter to Ananda. Here the first part of the lesson ends. In the second part of the lesson, the reply of Ananda to Somya is expressed. Here Ananda was pleased to know that Somya got the chance to visit the National War Memorial. According to her, some people visit 
war memorials just as a monument a statue or a edifice to celebrate war and victory and commemorate those who were martyred or injured in the war but in her opinion it is expression of deep gratitude for the soldiers their supreme sacrifice of their lives defending the sovereignty and integrity of our nation she felt motivated and seriously thinking of joining armed forces to save our motherland she also feels that it is our duty to visit war memorials periodically to commemorate or to give respect to pay our respect to pay homage to fallen soldiers who fought for our nation their sacrifices enable us to walk freely in our country without any fear of enemy then ananda wished somya for her presentation and she also wished that her presentation will motivate most of the students to join indian army ananda also reminded her visit to the war memorial in her city on the national martyrs day to one of chandigarh's garden everyone were pay, paying their respect to soldiers at the war memorial by offering flowers and prayers she reminds of a poem by makhanlal chaturvedi pushp ki abhilasha further she says that it is really very inspiring idea to present the valorous stories of india's soldiers there are so many stories of courage bravery and sacrifice that reminds us our day to day challenges are inconsequential we can enjoy peace in our country and luxury of exchanging our ideas with our friends because our armed forces are alert and work hard to protect and create the safe environment for us further she shared a news about captain anuj nayar mahavir chakra an indian army officer of 17 jat regiment was posthumously awarded mahavir chakra india's second highest gallantry award for exemplary valor during the kargil war in 1999 mother meena nayar has written a memoir titled tiger of dras captain anuj nayar 23 kargil hero which she will certainly read she mentioned the quote which is very true our flag does not fly because the wind moves it it flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it she shared her ideas and experience with many of her friends and they all wished to visit the national war memorial new delhi she also wants to create a collage of capturing the lives and stories of people that inspire us each day at the end ananda mentioned that collecting stamps which is called philately is her favorite hobby this time she received a stamp that celebrates india's independence theme related to her letter so that was all about a homage to our brave soldiers expressing the heartfelt gratitude towards our brave soldiers hope you like the video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you